brother, you the man. Praise the Lord. Actually, you a man. Lalaking lalaking, mga kapatid. Um, sige po, pa, ano nang, basahin po natin yung scriptures na kami. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. And all this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ, <clears throat> and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them, and he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. If you are paying attention to the testimony of our brother, his testimony is powerful because, number one, it exposes one of the greatest lies of our time today. That, ano, that some people were born this way. Hindi totoo yun eh. Hindi totoo yun. Um, kung narinig niya yung testimony ni Anthony, sabi niya, may dahilan kung ba't siya nagkaganon. Wala yung father niya. At hindi rin malayo na yun din ang agenda ng kaaway kung bakit niya isinusunong ito ngayon. Kasi nga, if you can destroy the basic building block of society, which is the family, then you can destroy society. Concurrent with this, alam niyo ba na sa Detroit, they, they recently unveiled a 10-ton statue of Satan. I'm not kidding. I wish I were making this up. They recently unveiled a 10-ton statue of Satan with two children, a boy and a girl, looking adoringly upon Satan. And they designed this a seated statue of Satan so that you could sit on its lap. All right? And do you know why they're doing this? Because the Satanists say, we do not believe in a literal Satan. We believe in Satan as a symbol of what? Of the sovereignty of man. Si Satanas ay simbolo lamang ng karapatan ng taong magpasya para sa kanyang sarili kung ano ang gusto niya gawin sa kanyang sarili. At hindi ba yun din naman na sinasabi ng mga LGBT? Hindi naman na sinasabi ng mga homosexuals? And before you think that we're uh, zeroing in on the homosexuals, yun din na sinasabi ng mga alcoholics. Yun din na sinasabi ng mga addicts. Yun din na sinasabi ng mga nangangalun yang lalaki at mga babae. I can't help myself. Eh, ganito ako eh. Eh, ito ang gusto kong gawin eh. Ano ang pakailan mo? Buhay ko to. Mali. Hindi mo buhay yan. Buhay yan na pinerang sa'yo ng Panginoon. Paano mo sasabihin buhay mo yan? Eh, pag nagkasakit ka, kailangan mo, ng, kailangan mo ng makina para huminga. Kung buhay mo yan, di ba, hingayin mo sarili mo. Di ba? But the powerful thing is this. If you listen to our brother's testimony, he said this, that I used to be this and I am no longer this anymore. Yung ginamit niyang phrase na naging palasak noong 1980s, born again. Di ba? Masyadong na-associate yun sa isang grupo ng mga tao. Kala to nila mga tao yung born again, asosasyon. Hindi pwede maging asosasyon yung born again. Bakit? Kasi walang asosasyon ng mga born Pag-isipan niya, mag-get niya rin yun. <laughs> Sino rito ang pinanganak? Utang na loob, magtas kayo ng kamay. Kasi kung hindi, singaw kayo. <laughs> Di ba? Lahat kayo pinanganak, pero wala naman nagsasabing kami kasama sa mga born. <laughs> Kasi lahat pinanganak eh. E ano ngayon yung mga born again? Ito yung mga pagkatapos ipanganak sa laman, narinig ang mabuting balita na buhayan ng kanilang Espiritu, tinanggap ang Panginoon Iso Kristo, at sa Espiritu isinilang muli. Kaya nga, born again. May kasabihan, born once, die twice. Born twice, die once. If you were born once, pinanganak lang ng nanay mo, dalawang beses kumamatay, mamamatay ang katawan mo, mamamatay ang kaluluwa mo. Ngunit, Kapag isinilang ka dalawang beses, isinilang ka ng nanay mo, at sa tamang panahon, narinig mo ang mabuting balita, at isinuko mong buhay mo sa Panginoon Yesu Cristo, isisilang naman yung iyong kaluluwa. Born again. So being born again is not joining a religion, but entering into a life experience in Christ. At yun yung mahalaga. Masabi dito sa first verse, If anyone is in Christ, 
If anyone is in Christ, coming to ABS-CBN Fellowship will not change you. Going to Victory Christian Fellowship will not change you. Reading the Bible for the sake of reading the Bible will not change you. Franklin Graham was Billy Graham's son, and he still became a rebel. You know what ultimately changed Franklin Graham? When he had a personal encounter with the God of Billy Graham. And his name is Jesus. Ang tanging magbabago sa atin ay ang pagsuko natin ng ating buhay kay Kristo na kinikilalang hari ng mga hari. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, Seek first the kingdom of God and the righteousness of God. In other words, prime objective yan na ano, na paghari ang ka ng Diyos. Tiyakin mo na ang hari ng buhay mo ay ang Panginoon. Seek first the kingdom. When I was a kid, I thought kingdom was a place. But now I understand, kingdom is you submitting to the right king. And the right king is Jesus. In Christ, in submission to Christ, the old will go and the new will come. That's what happened to Anthony Rafael. He got off the throne and the true king got on the throne and now he is living for the pleasure of his king. Meron nga sinabi, kapatid, noon, noon na narinig, I don't know if you remember this, but you were part of a concert. Uh, 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 Phil Driscoll, I believe, was uh, was uh, in town and you and uh, uh, other uh, Christians were there as a front act, Don giving Moen. your testimonies. Don oh, Don Moen, Don Moen, right. And and you said something in a montage. Sabi niya to, uh, sa totoo lang, ang daling magpakabakla. Pagkatapos ko mag-testimony, gagamit lang ako ng lalaki. Bakla na uli ako. Pero bakit ko gagawin yun? Hallelujah. You know what? I'll never forget those words. Because those are the words of a person who has truly been set free. Yeah. Amen. Amen? Amen? Anyone can go back to the same stupid sin, but why should I when I have experienced true freedom in Christ? Amen? Bakit ako babalik sa chocolate eh nakatigil na ako ng toblerong? Alam mo yun? Bagamat masarap din naman ang chocolate. That was a poor analogy. <laughs> mali, mali. Erase. Mapapahawin. <laughs> Mapapahawin sa akin. The point is, in Christ, not in religion, not in a particular fellowship, not in the following of a particular guru, but in Christ. Si Kristo lamang ang may kapangyarihang magpalaya sa atin. Amen. 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 Bakit ganon? Sa pangkat, yes. sabi sa verse 18, all this is from God who reconciled us to Himself through Christ. Do you realize that until you got born again, you were actually drifting farther and farther from God? Maganda yung sinabi ng asawa ko sa akin eh, natutunan, natutunan niya doon sa isang uh, NGO na sinasalihan niya. Christianity can easily be defined this way. If this were the cross, no? Two things. Are you close to it? Or are you far from it? So distance. Are you close to the cross? Or are you far from the cross? And then number two, regardless of whether you are close or far, are you moving towards it? Or away from it? Kahit anong lapit mo sa krus, kung papalayo ka naman, lumalayo ka sa Diyos. Pero kahit anong layo mo sa krus, if you are seeking the kingdom, if you are seeking the righteousness of God, then you are moving towards the cross. You are moving towards your Savior. And the one thing that really kept us from moving closest to God was our own sin. But praise God, in Christ, that sin was dealt with. 
pinagbayaran ng Panginoon Yeso Kristo lahat ng aking mga kasalanan no ibinubu niya ang kanyang dugo sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Bakit kahit gaano ka-savage ng tribo, alam nila na may, pag may problema, dapat pumatay ka ng hayop. ba? Diba? Punta ka sa bundok, pag pangit ang ani, nagkakatay sila ng manok. ba? Diba? Bakit alam nila yun? It is hardwired into the heart of man that to please God, there must be a sacrifice. And the beautiful thing about Jesus is this, when He came, Ano sabi ng pinsan niya, John the Baptizer, Behold the Lamb of God, the ultimate once for all sacrifice of God who takes away. The blood of animals merely covered sin. The blood of Jesus removes sin. And because the blood of Jesus has removed our sin, now we are reconciled to God. Makakalapit na tayo sa ating tunay na ama. malapitan sapagkat wala na yung hadlang wala na yung kasalanan binura na inalis na ng dugo ni Kristo and so in Christ we are not only made new we are reconciled to God himself but just before you think that this is all about you and this kapatid ito ito We really need to pray for our brother because I believe that your testimony, specifically your testimony, can be used mightily of God for such a time as this. Kasi ang sabi nito sa verse 19, All this is from God who reconciled us to Himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Alam niyo ba na ang kalooban ng Panginoon, hindi lang na tayo makipag-ayos sa Kanya, kundi pagkatapos na tayo makipag-ayos sa Kanya, gawin niya tayong daluyan ng pakikipag-ayos para sa ibang tao. Sinaan mo kanina, hindi naman nabubuntis ang bakla, pero dami sila ng dami. Ako naniniwala, gagamitin ng Panginoon para kumunti sila. I'm not kidding. No, because, ikaw lang ang credible eh. Walang maniniwala sa akin, dahil naman ako na yung bakla natin. Hindi <laughs> naman ako nakita sa TV na kami. Pangako ko sa'yo, ayaw mo makita yun. <laughs> God gave us the ministry. And look, it's not just Him. It's all of us. Why? Because though we were not homosexuals, we were something else entirely. Whatever it was, whatever your poison was, right. now God can use you to be an agent of reconciliation to people who have the same struggle because now we can tell them, look, God changed me. Meron nagsabing yan to eh. The gospel is simply one beggar telling another beggar where he got bread. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. Amen? Amen. And if you have had an encounter with Jesus, I promise you, you will know and people will know because you will change. Babaguhin ka eh. Magbabago ka. May mga iba nagbabago ng biglaan, tatlong buwan lang, kumbinsido pamilya. May mga iba naman, <laughs> dahil ang tigas pa rin ng ulo, dahan-dahan ang pagbabago. Pero nagbabago. ba? Diba? Kung aling ka mano sa dalawang yon, bahala ka. <laughs> But here's what I've learned. The more you obey, the faster you change. Amen? The more you obey, the faster you change, the more credible your testimony. And look, it says, He gave us the ministry of reconciliation. What is His ministry? That God was reconciling the world to Himself in Christ, not counting people's sin against them. And, can we read that last part all together? One, two, three. And He has committed to us the message of reconciliation. The message of reconciliation. I need to mean that reconciliation. People. Yeah, no? It is the act of causing two people or groups to become friendly again after an argument or a disagreement. Do you realize that God and the world did not have a disagreement? They had a falling away. Adam fell and all of us with him. But in Christ, there is reconciliation. And now we can be agents of reconciliation. And sabi pa rito, The process of finding a way to make two different ideas, facts, etc. exist or be true at the same time. 
How many of you know that in the last days, ang pagtatalunan ay ang katotohanan? Ang i-challenge ay ang katotohanan. The LGBT community is challenging the truth that God created mankind in His image, male and female. He created them. Think about it. When God projected His image on mankind, He projected it in two genders, male and female. In other words, pag nagpasok ka ng pangatlong gender, pang-apat na gender, that is no longer the image of God, that is now a distortion of the image of God. But this is exactly the truth that is being assailed today. And it is part of our ministry of reconciliation to reconcile these points of view in Christ. And your most powerful weapon, my friend, in this, in this discussion is your life. <coughs> Kasi kaya mong ipatotoo na tunay ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos nagbabago <coughs> ng buhay. Amen? Now, if you've ever tried to mediate between two parties, alam mo, hindi madali yun. Diba? Hindi madali yun. Lalo na kung pareho mong kaibigan. Naranasan mo naman pagpatingin yung dalawang kaibigan mo na magkagalit. Kapag kausap mo isa, tama naman siya. Pag gina, tama naman siya. <laughs> Sa bumutan ko na kaya na sila dalawa. Diba? Is it any wonder, ano sabi dito po, last frame? Jesus himself said, blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the reconcilers because they will be called children of God. Do you realize that you are never more like God than when you seek to make peace between conflicting parties? Because that's exactly what Jesus came to do. Now, I'm not going to repeat what has already been done. You've been given the opportunity to respond to the gospel. Our brother prayed for you. He led you to the foot of the cross. And many of you responded. Maybe some of you are still, you know, mm, that's fine. I just want you to understand that after this is done, the Holy Spirit will continue to speak to you. And if you haven't decided yet, you can decide in the car. You can decide in your room. You can decide wherever. God's not done with you. <coughs> But if you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, understand this. You play a vital role today right now to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to people with different opinions and differing views because they need to get their minds straight by the truth of God. Amen? Amen. And so, I would like to ask our brother if he could please come here and um, have a seat. Mama <laughs> kita. And I'd like to ask the core to come and surround him, please. Core, Pastor Nolan, please come. Surround our brother. Let's pray for him. Miss Amy, join us, please.